Mr. Roy, what are your plans for the immediate future? Well, of course, as you know, I end up as Prime Minister on the night of the 31st of December. I've uh, promised to hand to my publishers the book that I'm writing uh, sometime in January, and I hope to see it published in uh, February. And of course, then I'm going to concentrate on my farming venture. Do you envisage ever returning to politics? And if so, what would the circumstances be that would recall you? Well, quite frankly, I have no intention uh, to engage in politics in southern Odisha. I intend to try and make a success of my farming venture. I can't say that the circumstances may never arise in which I would uh, want to intervene. This would depend on what happens. I'm very anxious to see southern Odisha succeed, achieve its independence, and become, uh, what I hope, a peaceful and prosperous country. What future do you foresee for the white man in Central Africa now? Well, of course, I am convinced that the white man has a major part to play in Central Africa because it is the white man that provides the expertise, uh, the capital, uh, what skills are available. And of course, this continent is so badly in need of skills. I am not one of these who fear the future. I've made my own plans quite clear to the public. I intend to dig myself even deeper into this country. And I believe that solutions can be found of our difficulties here. Thank you, Sir Roy.